Yo, what up, my beautiful G's, and welcome back to a new video here on the It's a Waste YouTube channel. My name is Waste, and I'm here with a new video for you guys. This is a Halloween sketch battle that I did some weeks ago. I'm a little bit late with this video because I was doing a lot of other stuff, working on new projects, painting some pieces, doing some sketching and some painting and some piecing and some stuff all for the channel and you guys will see this stuff coming out real quick soon so for this sketch battle we had to sketch the word tomb t-o-m-b and for the o i was struggling a bit so i used the i of neversoft for the o and i used a iron maiden character as the character in this piece did some nice background the only colors we could use was gray black white and orange and that was really nice for this halloween team sketch and i had the eddie from iron maiden with the match on fire and i put the piece on fire as well all my details and stuff like that that i almost never do when i'm sketching i never finish sketches i just plan out a little bit of letters for the wall that i'm painting and then we go on to the next one so seeing me finishing a sketch is rare but doing some of these sketch battles is always nice in the winter times when the rain is constantly there and you don't want to go out the channel has been doing great lately so i would like if you go subscribe to my channel and like this video Share it with someone that likes graffiti sketches and graffiti art in general. So what I'm using for this sketch are some uh, grey markers from Toki, that's the brand. One black pencil, one grey pencil, some orange pencils, some orange markers from Stylefile, some loop water-based markers and some my own mixed one for all markers in a Montana empty because they are a little bit cheaper and the same shape as the loop markers that I really like but loop doesn't offer any empty markers. So I use those from Montana cans. I will also be using an eraser of course and a dry brush to wash out the orange paint marker to make the fire effect and also the white to make the smoke and the smoke from the fire. I'm also using uh, I'm also using the blending marker from Toki, the brand that I'm also using the markers from, to blend in the pencil and the marker and everything into one mess. And it will look great at the end. I really like the outcome of this piece. All the effects are real dope, and I like the piece. Some people in the comments of my community posts or my other sketch videos were complaining about that they cannot get their sketches real clean. It gets dirty and messy a lot real quick. My tip is not use too much pencil. Uh, get your sketch sketching part loose on a different paper and copy it to your final paper when you have your letters all sketched out loose. This way you will have less uh, granite from the pencil on your paper and not so dirty so quick. Also, using a paper underneath the hand that you're drawing with will prevent you to, from smearing out your sketch all over the paper. So what you saw me do on the character was filling in some parts, erasing some lines and filling in some other parts and then we went all over the character like that. We put in all the lighter parts first, then some dark parts and then we go back and forth blending a lot with the pencil and the blending marker. For the piece itself I wanted to use most grays, light gray for the fit in, darker gray for the 3D black for the outline, some uh, orange for the shines, some orange from the for the shines in the 3D as well. And um, of course the eye was also in gray and white and orange. Later on you will see me add some cracks in the piece. 
and it to deal with the piece. I remove the fire all the way through the piece, going up. Of course, the fire is always going up. And also some smoke coming off the fire. For the background of the piece, we use a graveyard, of course, for the Halloween theme. It really works out very cool, very good. I liked it a lot doing this piece. Some pencil work. I normally don't finish sketches, so it was really a weird one to do it like this. I spent a lot of time on this piece. Definitely the character took the most of my time. And I always like to try out some Iron Maiden characters around Halloween times. Sadly, because of the weather, I didn't paint a wall for Halloween. I, my original idea was to have two videos out. One was this sketch and one was the wall for Halloween. But the rain cancelled my plans and uh, yeah, I just couldn't manage. And sometimes that's also okay. I didn't show the part that I did uh, letter sketching in this video. I recorded it but I will use it in a different video where we talk about sketching letter structures a lot more in depth. So guys, I'm planning uh, lots of tons of projects. Please subscribe to my channel and you won't miss out on this project. It will not be all painting or sketching. There will also be some DIY projects that I'm thinking about now and making it reality real soon. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, I will be dropping some canvas work somewhere in the beginning of next year, I think. There's always time to do some commission work. So if you want me to paint your name on the canvas or on a sign or somewhere else, DM me on Instagram. The link is in the description. Uh, while I'm finishing off this sketch, I want to thank you guys for all the support I've been getting lately. And if there's anything missing for you on this channel, please tell me about it in the comments. Now we will go on with the last details and then we go to the end results. I did a little fantastic shout out in the 3d that's the place where i order a lot of my cans and that they were the organizers sketch battle then we put in all the lines in the 3d connecting the to the outlines and we go on to the white shines on top of the orange shine after that we will mix up a new marker with a fresh color of orange in a different tone than I already had. I like to tape my empty marker to my roll of tape so it will stand up straight and not fall down and ruin your sketch. I had that happen to me lots of times. <laughs> and then you will feel like a big toy and you have to start all over again and that's never fun. Of course this orange we will use for the fire. Doing the fire was really cool. I never did a really uh, fire effect on paper or on canvas, so it was a nice tryout and I will definitely use it again in one of my newer walls or sketches or paintings. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, big shout out to all of you who have watched all of this 10 minutes rant about sketching and my channel and stuff like that. I hope I see you on the next one, please check out the end result, follow me on Instagram, subscribe, it's a waste, I'll see you on the next one, bye.